Foot stimulation or mild irritation. The Noboso Trail Sport Sandal from Zero Shoes. Now, with this summer's heat, my shoes became a portable sauna, storing sweat and sapping my energy. What better condition to test out a pair of barefoot sandals? Airflow and freedom, both much needed in this blistering climate. Now, with the growth in barefoot footwear, there are many minimal choices, but I also wanted to experience some innovation in a new shoe. The Noboso Trail Sandal was the most unique offering available. Zero took their Z Trail Sandal and added the Noboso performance material as its footbed. Now they created a three layer sole. The bottom has their trademark tread pattern with great grip and abrasion resistance, a middle layer of trail foam for impact protection. And on the top, the Noboso layer. And even with three layers, the sole still had great flexibility to allow for natural movement and to provide good ground response. They are lightweight as sandals should be. Considering that I normally wear a size 11 and a half in men's, I had to choose between 11 and 12. I went with the 11 and I was very pleased at the fit. These men's size and 11 came in at 165 grams. My toes still remained within the footbed with a little wiggle room. In all black, they are low profile and subtle. The outer sole was the trademarked tread that we see from Zero Shoes with slight nubbing, allowing for both off-road and on-road use. My first impressions, these sandals were nicely balanced, flexible, but not too much, maintaining the integrity of the shape even during sprinting. The straps are of tubular webbing, so there are no hard edges. The adjustable Z pattern allows for multiple points of tension adjustment across your foot, over your foot, and then behind the heel. The Z pattern of the straps places the tubing around the toes as a group. While I'm used to a thong setup that's between the big toe and the second, this allowed for uninterrupted space, allowing me to wear my toe spacers. Now, I only flipped these sandals twice, both user error. Over a period of three weeks of wear, I'd consider that an improvement over my previous sandals. The build quality was sturdy, purpose-built with robust nubs on the outer sole, worthy of the off-road. The straps were secure, but comfortable. The Noboso Experience. According to their website, Noboso, meaning barefoot in Czech, is the first ever small nerve proprioceptive material commercially available and designed for the purpose of improving posture and enhancing movement. I often mention proprioception and its importance in regards to your movement health. Proprioception is the understanding of your body's orientation in time and space. Some people have innately better coordination than others, and great proprioception is a hallmark of all the great athletes. It is a high level skill and we all have the ability to improve our own with mindful practice, skill drills, and in this case, tools. I would describe the Noboso sole like walking on a mat of barbell knurling. That may not be your idea of comfort, but just like great knurling on a bar, the sensory experience is heightened and the grip is more secure, imbuing you with more confidence. Your skin, the sole of your foot, has thousands of small nerves, mechanoceptors, which are sensitive to different stimuli, including texture, vibration, the stretching of your skin, pressure, and light touch. When stimulated, these nerves play an important role in how we maintain our upright stance or activate our postural muscles and dynamically control impact forces. The level at which our modern feet are disconnected from the sensation of our souls is at an all time high. And that's because of marshmallow proportions of cushioning. Did I mention also those thick crew socks? I mean, with over 200,000 nerve receptors in our feet, people are still unable to decipher the signals from their feet in terms of alignment and position, leading to most of the posture issues. This can affect balance and force production, leading to an unstable and weak foot. This textured footbed is great as stimulation, 
Even though I practiced walking barefoot outdoors, this still kept me alert as to the state of my feet. Think of it as raising awareness or sensory feedback to your position, exertion, and stability of your feet. Now, what I liked, one thing I worry about with sandals is finding the balance between flexibility and stiffness. Floppy forefoot can make walking and running bothersome. Now, this hit the right balance. The design of the footbed was excellent in regards to the feedback. You know, high performance goods are always venerated for their tactile feedback, more control. This is the subtle difference that divides the categories of novice and professional products, such as performing steering wheels, basketballs, tennis rackets, and golf clubs, for example. This provided full coverage for my feet. While I'm used to a thong style design, this Z-Trail design created containment for my feet within the footbed, especially laterally. I walked one hour each day for seven days, approximately three miles after the gym. And the first day was intense, but the next day it was as if I was looking for that feeling, that feedback. And you'll feel the difference in the feel of the footbed against other shoes. Now, what I didn't like, well, the band across the toes kept my toes contained, but during my initial wear, my big toe would rub on the outer edge of the strap, creating a small friction mark. With a compromise of the strap tension, the friction was less, but so was the stability. So understand that when you're trying to adjust them for your fit. Now, can they be worn all day? Yes, if you have experience walking barefoot, especially in an urban setting, the experience I felt was the equivalent to walking on rough pavement. Now, for some people, this feedback could be too stimulating at first. You could try them with a very thin pair of maybe five finger socks, preferably. And when you feel ready, try five to 10 minutes without the socks. Over time, by listening to your body, you can build up the amount of time and the activities you can perform wearing these sandals. Overall, these are not lounging sandals. These are performance sandals meant for movement and engagement. This actually makes it a great sandal for the beginner to learn and engage with, developing their feet intelligence. And if you are a veteran barefooter, this is a sandal that provides great feedback and performs well on the road and trails. Normally, sweaty feet and sandals create sloppy stability. The Naboso material actually helps with this stability. This feature alone is one of the reasons why I wear them on a regular basis. It is midsummer in Georgia and nothing feels better than the breeze between my toes. This is Grown and Healthy, the channel where we explore self-improvement through movement. Thanks for watching.